Hi everyone, today we are talking about how to read a psychometric chart. The psychometric chart we are using is obtained from the principle of mass transfer and separation process by Beinecke Dutta. The first thing you need to know is that every point in this chart provides 7 properties of water vapor mixture at the particular condition. These properties are dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, relative humidity, absolute humidity, dew point, enthalpy and specific volume. In other words, if we have any two of these properties to locate a point, we can easily obtain other 5 quantities from the chart. For now, we randomly select a point and extract all the quantities available. Firstly, let's find the dry bulb temperature. Draw a vertical line down to the temperature axis and we find that the dry bulb temperature is 52.5 degrees Celsius. Next, find the absolute humidity by drawing a straight line from the point to absolute humidity axis. The absolute humidity for this point is 0.025 kg water per kg dry air. Now, I will show you the relative humidity lines. We need to know that the absolute humidity of saturated air at this temperature. The saturated air humidity is 0.1 kg water per kg dry air. Since our point is not located on any relative humidity line, we need to perform interpolation. The relative humidity at this point is estimated at 25.26% humidity. Alright, let's look at adiabatic saturation line. Again, our point is out of these lines. Draw a line parallel with this line from the point of 100% humidity curve. The corresponding temperature is wet bulb temperature which is 33 degrees Celsius. Wet bulb temperature and adiabatic saturation temperature are practically the same for air water system. Next, we will draw a horizontal line to the left until it reaches the 100% relative humidity line. The corresponding temperature is known as dew point. It is 28 degrees Celsius. Besides that, let's look at the saturated volume curve and specific volume of dry air curve. The scale for this curve is at the left. We need to find the volume of saturated air and dry air. The humid volume of saturated air is 1.09 meter cube per kilogram dry air, while the specific volume for dry air is 0.91 meter cube per kilogram dry air. Perform interpolation and we find that the humid volume of our point is 0.955 meter cube per kilogram dry air. Now let's look at the curve of the enthalpy of saturated air and one curve for enthalpy of dry air. The scale at the left is for these two curves. The scale of for the enthalpy of saturated air at higher temperature is at the right. We find the enthalpy of saturated air and dry air and perform interpolation. The enthalpy of saturated air is 325 kJ per kg dry air, while the enthalpy for dry air is 51 kJ per kg dry air. Interpolation gives enthalpy 119.5 kJ per kg dry air. Thank you.